Hey guys, Nika coming at you with another weekly garden update. Today's August 27th. It's the dog days of summer. A lot of changes in my garden. I've done a lot of planting. A lot of produce. Welcome to all my subscribers. Welcome to any new viewers. My name's Nika. Let's get started on this weekly garden update. So guys, the first thing I want to show you are my tomatoes. My early girls are starting to produce fruit. Look at that. All of them are starting to produce fruit. Look. Here's one of my early girls. I'm excited about that. I've been waiting all season for that. Look. This one, they're starting to turn red and get ready. So we'll probably have tomatoes at least until Halloween, if not after that is so exciting lots of salads guys and of course I have my little tomatoes these are the black cherry tomatoes my red tomato is flowering but I don't have a lot of fruit on it this lemon boy is getting big I moved it to this spot in the corner so it gets more sunshine and I took that marigold out, so it decided to try to do something here. I was just about ready to give up on it. But it, this lemon boy is starting to take off. That's exciting. I love tomatoes. And I really want to try this variety. And clipping those marigolds seemed to help a lot. I just picked a bunch of these tomatoes for a salad, but there's more coming, look. Lots more coming. And then, then I moved all my pots closer together because I put this irrigation system in. And I'm planning on doing a little traveling, so I don't want to have to worry about somebody coming to water. So I just moved all the pots closer together and I have my irrigation system in place. I just have to put the timer on. So we're going to start doing that this week. And I'm going to start planting onions with these tomatoes this week too. Since the irrigation system is in place, we're going to put some onion seeds down. They grow very well with tomatoes. And they'll grow through the winter so we won't be wasting these pots and they'll keep these pots going for the winter this is my kale right here and it's not sprouting yet but i have hope it's gonna take a bit kale is a cool weather plant so i'm not in a hurry for it to start sprouting we'll probably have kale throughout the winter i'm getting my fall winter garden in place guys so we're still working on that. And then I have this rosemary I need to do something with. But I'll probably wait until I come back. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this rosemary plant. But it needs to be clipped down. It is root bound. I might start two pots. And then give one away as a present to somebody. And it is pepper season, guys. These orange peppers are really getting big. So guys, this is my harvest today. Give us this day our daily bread. Thank you, Jesus, for this food. Amen. Lots to eat tonight, guys. Look at all these beautiful flowers on this okra. Look at those, aren't those beautiful? I just love these flowers. They're so beautiful. And this okra is so good. I've been getting so much of it. This okra has got to be, I want to say, a good six, seven feet tall. And I'm still getting a lot of okra on it. Look. I have been steaming okra and just eating it. It's just so delicious. So that's nice okra is so easy to grow and it's so healthy for you and then I have these broccoli plants here 
I have about five of them. I'm going to trim them down. We're going to make a stir fry with this broccoli. I love broccoli. And I want to start growing some for the winter. This Roadrunner, guys. Isn't he funny? He's been following me around all day today. So, guys, today I'm planting broccoli. I'm going to get my broccoli started for the fall. I'm going to use this growing tray, some of these little containers. And for the dirt, I'm going to be using this Jiffy seed starting mix, some coconut core. I use this super foes batwana. I hope I'm saying these things right, but I looked these up and these are good things for plants. I'm using Mikos. These are supposed to help the roots to get started. And this verma vermiculite improves moisture and nutrients. I'm not gonna put a whole lot of that in there, but I'm just gonna mix these up in a bowl and plant this broccoli and see what happens. Okay guys, so let's get started. I'm gonna plant this broccoli. We have this type of dirt. I'm gonna mix all this dirt together. So the first thing I'm gonna start with is this seed starting mix. And there's not much left in here. So let's just pour what I have left in here. I'm not going to use it up. I'm tired of looking at this bag. And then I'm going to add some of this fat guana in there. looks like. We're just going to add a little bit of this black guana in there. Some of this coconut core. This is what this looks like. This looks like coconut shavings. I'll throw a handful of that in there. And we're going to add some of this vermiculite in there. This improves moisture and nutrient retention. I'm not going to put too much of that in there. And then I'm going to put a little bit of this mikos in there for root. For the roots. Oh, wow. Well. Let's see what it says. Let's see what it says. Transplanting. One to tea, add one to, to two teaspoons per plant. So we'll put this on at the end and I'll just kind of sprinkle it on the top. For transplanting, amending, broadcasting. I don't know what this is. Stop. No need to add more. Oh, can you hear that road runner? Listen to that. He is making noises at me. He wants to know what I'm doing. He has been following me around all day today. He must be hungry. Something's going on with him. He seems so sad. He's big. 
I mean, there's water all over my yard. I fed the birds today, so there's obviously seed. Maybe he just likes me. I don't know. I'm telling you, he's been following me around all day today. Okay guys, let's mix this up. I have the perfect place to put this too. And then we're just gonna fill these up halfway. We're gonna fill these up halfway. And I'm gonna use four of these. Fill them up halfway. quite a bit of dirt left over but we still have to put some more on the top all right so i have two different kinds of broccoli this is DeSico broccoli and i have calabrese and i wanted to i'm going to put the DeSico on that side and the calabrese on this side That's what the seed looks like. It's very small. All right. So I'm going to put like two in each. Just make sure we get these in there. And I hope I put two in each. All right. Some of them got three. Hopefully every one of them got at least one seed in there. And then on this side, I'm going to put this DeSico seed in there. I like to tear them from the bottom because all the printing is up on top. And I've done that where I'm like, I don't even know what this is. That's what that seed looks like. Very similar. Very similar look on that broccoli. So let's just make sure that each one gets two. Alright. Okay, guys, I think they all got two. All right, now we're just going to fill these up. We're just going to fill these up the rest of the way. 
with dirt. And I like this tray because I can fill it up with water and um, it stays watered. Awesome. Okay, guys, now I'm going to put this Mikos on there. You get a little scoop. That's a tablespoon. This is a teaspoon. So we're just going to sprinkle some of this on top of there. That's supposed to get those roots started. Whoops. A little clumpy there. Good enough. All right, good enough, guys. Okay. So we put the Mikos on there. And this, this is a really cool top here. I love this little top. See? And it has these little vents on top of here. So you can control the air. It keeps the bugs out. And I just put it on there like that. Isn't that cool? It has these little vents on top here. And it keeps the moisture in. It makes like a little terrarium. So guys, this is the perfect little spot for this. It's underneath this tree. I might end up putting it on this middle shelf, but we're gonna try the top shelf first. So guys, all I have to do is fill this up with water. Oops, that one started floating. And then I'm just gonna start, I'm gonna just use this and let wet them down at the top. And I guess they'll soak the water up too. But I just wanted to make sure that they were wet. Okay, guys, so that's it. I planted the broccoli. Hopefully this sprouts soon. I put the spy a door that I go out a lot. So I'll keep checking on these. Oh, so guys, this turned out to be a really good spot for this broccoli to sprout. I'm hoping it's going to sprout. There's still water in there, and I haven't put any water since I planted these a couple days ago. So this little system works really good. I like it. And I opened the vents all the way because it was steaming so much in there. And I'm probably gonna be pulling these bro this broccoli pretty soon. Um, just all the leaves, I'm gonna cook them with turnips. I'll leave a link in the description box below. I have a video out on how to do that and it's so good so healthy for you don't throw your broccoli greens away they're so delicious you can cook them with turnips there's all kinds of recipes that you can use for them so i'll make something with these broccoli greens and then my veronica plants are getting huge look this one they like the morning sun and then this one and it's starting to flower and seed these veronica plants i'm thinking about putting them in a separate pot they're um, perennials, so they'll come up every year. Then I move this. Then I move this uh, marigold over here because I just put it in its own pot. I think it'll do good by this squash plant. And I'm getting a lot of flowers in the squash plant and lots of activity in there. I believe we're going to be getting squash this winter. I'm getting excited about that. And then I have my cucumbers. They're starting to fade out a little bit. Um, I'm not getting as many cucumbers. They're thinning out. I planted these.
cucumbers. They're kind of thin too. I'm not sure if they'll grow well in the fall in zone seven, but we're just gonna have to see what happens. A lot of activity on the sides though. We are getting flowering on the sides. Not as many cucumbers though. Um, I was getting quite a few there for a bit, but they're starting to thin out. I'm not getting as many. Kind of bummed out about that because I love cucumbers. I just love them. And these ones are real thin too. I planted seed in here. I even put some more seed in here. I'm just hoping that they'll grow. But we'll just have to see. Cucumbers don't grow well in the fall in zone seven, it looks like. They were doing good this summer. They were, even like a week ago, they were doing good, but we're getting cooler temperatures and not as much sun. We're getting uh, a lot of rain at night, so. And then I have a lot of activity happening in this carrot container. Look, I'm starting to get carrots to sprout. So that's exciting. We'll get carrots for the winter. A lot of root vegetables in the winter. So that's why it's good to eat seasonal. And so we're going to be making a lot of root recipes in the winter. Here's another broccoli plant I need to clip down. My broccoli is ready to harvest and to plant some more for the fall and winter. Broccoli will last through the winter. So let's, I planted some good varieties. Let's see what happens. Then I have potatoes. They're doing good. These are just some that were sitting in the shell over a period of time. They grew eyes and were really good for seeding. So I just put them in here and they are actually growing. I'm gonna buy some seedling potatoes like purple, reds and uh, white potatoes. Just the seedling off the internet somewhere. And we're gonna try that route. But it seems like they like this wood container. So that's pretty good. And then I have my asparagus. It's just getting thicker and thicker and thicker. That's exciting to me. I'm just going to let it do its thing. Drop as much seed as it can in the tub. Then we have Berry Lane, guys. Berry Lane here. And I have strawberries in here. Notice I put my soaker system down. We have blueberries. I'm noticing these blueberries are doing really good at the bottom. And they're very uh, flexible at the top. So I'm thinking they're doing good in this pot. I'm just going to let them do their thing for the fall and winter. And we'll see what happens in the spring. I have um, a lot of pine needles in here. And then just regular compost dirt leaves. That type of thing. And I use some of that mushroom compost. So it seems like that's helping. And I clipped the tops off last week a little bit. It looked like they were scorched. And I'm just going to let this thing do its thing. Blueberries are hard to grow. You have to have a, the right mix. So I think it's doing good. I'm just going to let it alone. And let sleeping dogs lie, as they say. And then I have this raspberry that is just going wild. It is growing out the bottom of the tub, out of the holes. It likes this spot. I'm happy with this raspberry plant. Raspberries are so good. Look at that. I left this lettuce here and I'm just gonna clip it down, clip those seeds and use this lettuce for salads. I'm done with this pot. I, I'll have to plant something else in it. I'm not sure what. But I just put it over here just to get it out of the way. But this raspberry is doing really good. Look at all that new growth on there. 
it likes this spot especially this side right here and that's the cool thing about container gardens you can turn your pots around and that way the whole thing gets sun and i'm about ready to turn this pot um around okay guys so i'm gonna plant this cilantro i got these seeds this summer when the cilantro seeded up. You can look at some of my past videos. Okay guys, I moved this tub to a shadier spot. It has holes in the bottom. And I layered it with leaves and dirt. I put about half leaves and then I put some dirt, another layer of leaves and then another layer of dirt. And this is the top layer of leaves and now I'm gonna spread that cilantro seed. This is the best way to make your own dirt. These leaves give your plants as much nutrients as they need. You're mulching while you're growing. This is a really good way to contain a garden. You still have to fertilize every couple weeks, at least once a month, but these leaves really help, really help fertilize your garden. If you watch some of my videos from the spring, you'll see how rich that dirt is after it mulches through the winter. It's amazing. And I'll leave a link in the description box below on how to make dirt. Okay guys, now I'm just gonna spread this cilantro seed. This is seed that I got from my harvesting video. You'll see it. I'll leave a link in the description box below of that. I'm putting quite a bit in here. And we'll get cilantro in the fall, in the winter. This is a cool weather plant. Now all I have to do is fill it up with dirt and water it. Okay, guys. Okay, guys, I like to put this steer manure in here. Just for fertilizing. It works really well. And now we'll just and now we'll just top it off with some nice rich dirt okay guys we're gonna add the last of this dirt and water it and now my cilantro is planted for the fall Okay, guys, just thought I'd share. Ooh, look at that big old worm. Look at that worm. I have a lot of worms in my yard. <laughs> How cool. That worm, he's burrowing. He is trying to get out of the sun. <laughs> cool. I think worms are cool. Look he, how fast he digs in there in that loose soil. Isn't that cool? I love when I see them. That would be a good one for fishing. Okay guys, just thought I'd share. Got our cilantro planted. The end of August. We've got some more planting to do, so let's get busy. Look at my sunflowers, guys. That sunflower is, is, is as tall as that roof. I wanna say it's a good 12 feet tall. I'm not sure how tall a roof is, but look. It's just standing at attention there. Look at that. These sunflowers love this spot. And we'll be getting a lot of birds and bees in here. I don't see any colored ones, just the regular yellow sunflowers. I had planted some seed, but I guess it just didn't take this year. I only got one that was not yellow. Who look at that bumblebee in there. I got a lot of bumblebees in my yard. Look at that. He is loving that.
It goes to this flower. He's having a heyday. I have so many bumblebees in my yard. It's amazing. And my granddaughter, she is afraid of ants, but she's not afraid of bees. Go figure. I don't understand that one. Wow, guys, look at this beetle. It's pollinating, too. Isn't that awesome? Look at that huge beetle. It's pollinating on this mint plant. This mint plant is attracting all different kinds of bugs, butterflies, bees. Look at that. That's huge. It must have been eating off of this for a while. Look at that. I just love nature. You plant a garden and you get to see all kinds of things. Lots of activity in your yard. Look at my basil plants, guys. They're getting huge. I love this kind of basil with the big leaves, the big sweet basil. So we'll probably have basil until like November, same time around when uh, tomatoes start to freeze. There are so many things we can cook with our vegetables from our garden. I just love basil, I love tomatoes, and they're all doing so good. And then, I still have this basil plant. I need to do a cooking video with this basil plant. And then I have my garlics growing. It's doing good. Here's some more broccoli I need to cut and cook with. So we're going to do a really cool recipe. Some garlic broccoli stir fry. Uh, I'm going to cut this broccoli down. Hopefully those broccoli plants start to sprout. Especially since I have this irrigation system in place, then I won't have to worry about watering it. And sprouts love when you drip like that, when you have the drip hose. They love that. Here's some peas. So I'm getting peas, guys. Look, I'm getting a sprout right there. I had put some seed down in this container. And these peas... They volunteered themselves. I don't know what variety they are. And they were getting big, almost enough to hit that fence. But then I put the watering system down. It kind of stunted the growth a little bit. But they're doing good. And then I have my green beans. They're doing good. Look, I'm actually getting green beans in here, guys. Look. So we're getting green beans all throughout. They're starting to grow on the fence. I don't know what I did to this, this piece here, but I'm just gonna leave it. It might, it still has some life in it, but I am getting green beans on my fence now. Look, look, we're getting green beans, guys, on the fence. So it's loving this spot. And I have quite a few down here. I have some green beans down here. It'll be interesting to see what this irrigation system does. Um, I'm going to set the timer tomorrow. So that will be exciting. And then I have the celery. This always does good. This will last throughout the winter. More celery. 
this is starting to cheer up a little bit, believe it or not. Last week it only had like this, this leaf and a leaf over here. So it seems like the leaves are starting to get bigger. There is a purple cow bean on there. And I thought I saw a little bit of activity in here. There's another cow bean right there. I had to put diatomaceous dirt on this because there were some little bugs in here. Um, and I, I think it came from some dirt that I had sitting against this wall. So I don't see any more bugs and it seems like it's starting to perk up a little bit. And I just planted this marigold in there too last week. So all of that has been happening since the last video. You can see that. I'll leave the link in the description box below if you want to see how this looked last week. And then I planted some salad bowl lettuce in this container for the winter. And it seems like the squash is starting to get bigger. I don't see any... Um, this is squash I actually planted that I knew was squash. So that's why I put this marigold there. And that kind of deters the squash bugs. But I'm going to start planting my marigolds in pots and just, just putting it by the plant. Because it seems like it deters the plant and starts taking its nutrients. So that's what we're going to be doing next year. And my ginger's doing good. I'm getting a lot of new growth on it. Look at that one. It's just popping up. They're just popping up all over the place. It is ginger season, guys. So we'll be having ginger tea in the winter with these leaves. And I'm just going to let it go through the winter and see if I can store the ginger in here. Ginger lasts longer in pots when it comes out of your containers than what you buy in the store. I harvested ginger last year and it lasted from November till March. I had ginger and it stayed intact. But I'm going to leave a lot of it. I'm going to harvest some and then I'm going to leave some in the pot just to see how long it lasts as an experiment. And then I planted some cilantro in this container and I am seeing a little bit of sprouting there just in little spots but cilantro does better in the winter. I get it. As the temperatures cool, we'll get more cilantro. Okay, guys. Okay, guys, that's my weekly garden update for August 27th. I want to thank you for joining me. Thank you for every like, every comment, every subscribe. Thank you for your time. Have a wonderful evening. See you on the next video. Bye.